Nice one, Jed. I don't know what these birds are, but they're awesome. There he goes again. There he goes again. This is the slowest hunting we've had all year. I'll tell you what, we're not shooting a lot, but I don't hear many people shooting either. They're not flying too good this morning. Jed. Nice shot, Jen. What'd you get? A shoveler? It's very, very quiet. So we just finished our last duck hunt of the season. It was kind of, it was actually a really slow morning. It was our slowest morning that we've had all season. But we didn't really end on a bang. We only got three birds. Jed shot all three of them. Jed, show us your birds. I shot my first ruddy duck today. He's got the stiff tail feathers. Cool boy. Shot a drake widgeon. Nice. And a drake shuffler. Awesome. So, pretty good day all in all. It's not all about killing ducks. It's mostly being out in nature and the river grass with your family and enjoying all the different things you see out here. Rosie's and bills, pelicans, kingfishers, all kinds of stuff. So, it's a great day. Super slow morning. I only shot like five times at like three different birds and they weren't even very good opportunities. They're kind of far shots and my dad only shot one time. I had two opportunities that I uh, I wasn't ready for and, uh, and didn't take a shot. I, I only fired my gun one time on the uh, little, it, it was a pintail so I, t I took the shot. It wasn't actually sky busting but it was a, it was a far shot I missed. But that's the end of our season. Um, we had a great season. It was a lot of fun. Um, stay tuned for my catch and cook. So a lot of people have asked me how to clean the ducks, so I'm going to show you that now. The first thing that we do is we pluck the feathers right here on the breast so that it's easy to cut through and you have easy access to the breast. This one got shot in the breast right there. Just like that. I take the knife and I slice it right down the center of the breast, like so. And I just start to angle the knife a little bit. And then you can see the meat separate from the breast cavity. And then you start to peel the meat away from the skin. Just like that. Nice sharp knife. Helps. Just like that. You separate the, the breast meat from the skin. There's the first one. Flip the duck over. Same thing. Follow that that main breast cavity there, and then just drag your knife along that skin, and it separates nicely from the skin. Real easy. Here's another one with the feathers already plucked off the breast. This is um, the ruddy duck. Our first one. Do them all the same way. Helps to have a nice sharp knife. If you don't have a sharp knife, you'll struggle. But with a sharp knife, the skin separates from the breast meat nice and easy. So here's our six duck breasts. And then when we get home, we fine tune them a little more. And then we put them in a mixture of just water and kosher salt. And we leave that in there for like at least a day. And then we cook it after that. 
So this is my last catch and cook with duck until next duck season. And normally, I stress cutting the duck pieces into small chunks because I don't know if you guys know the size of the BBs that are inside the shotgun shells, but they're super small. They're really little and they're really hard. And last year, my mom was eating some duck and bit into one of these things and literally broke her tooth in half. And she spent thousands of dollars on getting her tooth repaired. So that's why I always stress cutting the duck into small pieces, but today I'm actually gonna do a recipe where I kept the duck into whole pieces. And I really checked and massaged them real good to make sure that there weren't any BBs. I did find one, so hopefully everyone just has to be careful when they eat it. So all I'm actually doing is I'm gonna take my duck breast, I'm gonna put in the garlic, salt, olive oil, and then Worcestershire sauce, and I'm gonna marinate it in the refrigerator for like 30 minutes. So I have my duck in the bag. Gonna take my olive oil. Take some salt. My Worcester sheer sauce that I don't really know how to say. <laughs> and then last, my garlic. If I can do this. Alrighty, so mix that up real good. And then I'm now gonna put it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes, but if you have more time, I'm kind of cut for time today, then I would suggest to marinate it for longer, but I mean, you can marinate it honestly for a full day. So I'm only gonna do it for 30 minutes and then I'm gonna put it on the grill. All right, so my duck's been marinating for 30 minutes. The grill's on medium to low heat and I'm gonna put the ducks on. They're sizzling. And they smell good. They smell really good. This is gonna be a good way. We've never done it like this. Mmm. You can see them shrinking up so mm -hmm. much. By the time I take these off, they're gonna be like the size of a quarter. Just kidding, they're not gonna be that small, but they're gonna be small. I'm gonna close it up. All right, so I'm taking my duck off. If you like your duck more medium rare, don't cook it as long. But we cooked ours a little bit longer. Ours is probably like medium well. And they shrunk up a lot, but they look delicious. It's recording. So good. Honestly, it tastes exactly like steak. So if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And don't worry guys, I'll have more catch and cooks, but this time they'll be with fish and probably shrimp and whatever else I can catch, lobsters. Just no more duck until next duck season. So, thanks guys. Yeah.